Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the journal indexing and the research impact. Today we will see the list of all those journals which are discontinued from the Scopus. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So what is the objective of this lecture is that this is aware to all of the researchers how you can find the list of all those journals as well as the conferences which are discontinued from the Scopus indexing. Also, apart from the discontinued of the Scopus index, all those journals which are recently accepted for the journal, uh, Scopus indexing and all those journals and the conferences which are Scopus index so far. Apart from these three configurations, we also see how you can find the series conferences which are indexed by the Scopus and how you can find the book titles which are indexed in the Scopus. So all these five properties we will see in this uh, presentation are there. So before we start this, how you can find the Scopus are there, we must understand what is the importance of the Scopus and why every researcher wants that their research papers or the conference will be in the Scopus indexing. Scopus is the world's largest abstract and the citation database which is based on the peer review research literature. It consists, it is, it was introduced by the elsewhere in the 2004 and it consists over the 20,000 articles with the 5,000 publishers and it is one of the elsewhere product which usually using its information requires the subscription and the payment base. So if your universities have subscribed this Scopus then you can utilize their features very well. So whenever uh, say you are the researcher and you always try to publish your articles then you always look for the journal which is a uh, well reputed and have indexing in a major database like Clever's, Elsewhere, PubMed, Google Scholars and the here. But the major thing is that this journal indexing help to maintain the ethics and the quality of the publications as well as the publishers which will increase your visibility, validity as well as the readership of the paper. Also you can see apart from that what you can see that uh, there are the many indexing bodies are there which can validate your journal. Some may are the Google Scholars indexing, some may are the ISI, some may have the Scopus or some may have the other database are there. But the most trustful and the powerful journal indexing database are the only two which is namely as ISI this is called as the JCR that is a journal citation reports and and the Scopus are there which is highly quality and the peer reviewed publications or in other words what you can say that whenever you want to submit your research articles you always target your journal which has the following features like they are indexed in the ISI, Scopus, SCI, SCI expanded or emerging SCI are there. So our target is to find here but quite obvious that it is very difficult for finding uh, or identifying the journal target with a good journal citation report. It's not an easy for you to identify whether it's a journal is Scopus index or not. So in this way we can see how you can find all those articles or all those journals or the conferences which are discontinued from the Scopus indexing from the right now. Also we will see all these four, uh, five properties in this presentation. How you can see that? You can simply go to the Google, you can write here. You can simply write here as a scopus.com, either you can write as a scopus.com or else you can simply click on this uh, URL. I will uh, give this URL in the description part too. Once you will click on this, say I have to write this scopus on the Google, I will show you in the live demonstration. Once you will write on the Google here, the first link will appear. You can click on this link. This is the interface of the Scopus database appears. Once you will click on this interface, you can see you can check whether you have assess your uh, there whether depending upon your whether your university will subscribe your uh, Scopus or not. Or uh, otherwise, there is no worry about that. You can simply scroll down below and you can see here is the Scopus content. You can see this is a Scopus coverage guide. This is Scopus source list, book title, and the Scopus discontinuous. So firstly you have to click on this Scopus discontinuous source list. Now the file will be downloaded. Once you will download them then we will see their instructions. If you want to look about the book titles, how many books are there which are Scopus index you can click on here. For example I can show you on the live demonstration say this is a Google are there. So I can write simply as of these Scopus are there. So I, if I write this Scopus you can click on this first link. Once I click on this first link it will be appear depending upon the speed of your internet. So now it will appear here. You can see you can check the Scopus access. You can author the create. I can scroll the below. You can see here. Now I can click on the Scopus discontinue list. 
now once you will so this page cannot be found here what you can do is you can simply go to this if there are no problem then you can uh, go to the sources you can click on the source once you will click on the sources are here you can see there are so many now you can scroll down the below once you will scroll down the below you can hear this uh, content coverage click on the content coverage and once you will uh, here you can scroll down the page below you can scroll down and once you will at the end of the page you can see here is a download the source title inclusive scopus discontinued so once i will click on this you can see the file is downloaded now it's a complete page. so once you will open this file now i mean let me open this now this is the file which is opened here now once you will open this file you can see here this is a so, uh, source record id that's a scopus ids are there this is the source title this is a print isbn number and so on let me uh, increase their size so that you can easily read that so let me here now you can see these are the active or inactive so you can see this the inactive are there they are active and so on you can also put up as a filter let's say i can simply put as a filter here now once you will click on the filter now uh, let me go on the upside now you can see here now you can on the below side you can see discontinued title so once you will click on here again i can increase the size for you you can see here this is the discontinued titles are there you can see what is mentioned here is recently discontinued titles is represented in the bold red and it is mentioned the january 22 so you can see if i look at the source title and if i say this is the first title which is recently be discontinued from the scopus index american journal of translation research although all those journals that is the abb news academic journal of cancer and all are they are not right now the scopus index journals you can see here these are the publishers you can put as a filter if you want let me i can put as a filter so if you want to put as a filter on the publishers say i want a publisher say for example au press so i can click on this so only one journal from the au press is not scopus index so far also if you want to move on another say i can and you can see the reason for also that's a reason is metric are there that's why they are not scopus index also if you want to move on the some another say i can say hikari say let me find some elsewhere are also be there that is a e so i can find say elsewhere are there so i can click on the elsewhere so you can see these are the elsewhere journals that is a here which are not be scopus index so far the reason are for here again you can see the final this is a after the final 2016 this journal is not be indexed and so on how many volumes and published so far under this scopus coverage the last process in the coverage is volume 10 issue 5 and 8 pages are here similarly apart from this if you if you want to see how many journals which are recently accepted in the scopus you can click on here accepted title again i can increase the size for you you can see here these are the recently accepted articles oh uh, sorry recently accepted journals which are added in the scopus that is a recent article january 22 you can see this is a date of acceptance is here again you can put as a filter and i can say on the publisher dates are there if you want i can filter on the publishers say again i want to be a uh, say elsewhere again so this is e so this is elsewhere so i can press the okay you can see these articles cancer partial differential equation in the applied mathematics current research in here computer in this one all are the recently published acceptance journals which are included in the scopus you can see there are so many are there similarly you can filter all those one if you want them so this is the way you can them also you can see the scopus source october 2021 these are all those articles all those uh, journals which are listed in this corpus so far you can see also here this is the serial conference proceeding you can see all those conference proceeding which are indexing in this corpus so this is the source title if i again increase the size for you you can see aiche that is a proceeding of the chemical engineering symposium series acs national meeting book of the abstract acm international conference which these are all are the corpus index proceedings are there you can see here these are the recently added conference in the proceeding you can see ieee 20 interesting conference on fuzzy systems 
uh, image processing intelligent robot all are these corpus index proceedings are there also if you want to see uh, if you want to scroll down here you can see their sdr side score snip all area council all science counseling and all you can see all the conference proceeding here you can see here these are these all counseling proceeding which are listed about here so this is the way you can find this journals information about that apart from them how you can see if you click on the this book title what is the meaning of that once it will be downloaded what is the meaning of that all those books which are listed in this corpus index b so these are the published book by the authors now they are in the corpus index r so this is the title of the book these are the title of the book and this is isb number this is the others publisher years these are the publisher which are there you can see this is springer and these are the classification this is the corpus id are there so you can see that if you click on this one this is corpus id if you search by corpus id also you can see these are the books which are published by the authors now they are in the corpus index are there so these are the isb number of the books and so on these are the publication years again you can put as a filter you can do them as per your convenience whether you want here again you can see here this is the book series which are accepted recently in the january 2022 these are the book series volumes and the page number you can see these are the publish you can see these are the a plus b e which are the volume 16 volume number 5 year 2016 and so on these are the all series which are in the acm symposium series 1997 volume number 1 all are the scopus series and this is the way you can see all about this uh, scopus indexing listings and the other features are there i hope you can simply learn uh, about that how you can see these factors are there we will see in our next lecture about how you can see the list of the discontinued sci index journals which are our next target in the next video till then you can simply find the other videos related to how you can find the full text difference between them how is the difference between scopus and web of science all in the research direction playlist channel name rishkar and here you can also find how you can identify the scopus index journal how you can add the references from the google scholar to the ms word difference between the scopus how you, how the impact factor is calculated how the side score is calculated how the difference between them how you can find the journal springer all are available in this my channel name dr rishkar playlist research direction i hope you can simply learn something from this video if you can share this video it's a very thank you you can simply subscribe this channel for finding the more updated videos best of luck students happy learning